hi everyone welcome guys to another youtube video this promises to be you know exciting yeah so in this video we're going to be working on this image we're going to be um, making making it a lot more um you know much more better um, than it is right now so um if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure you do so make sure you subscribe give me a thumbs up and then leave a comment in the comment section tell me what you think about the video all right so let's jump right into it all right, so I have this video right here, and um, one of the first things one of the first things I'm going to do is to duplicate the layer. All right, so I'm going to drag my layer to the new layer panel to duplicate the layer. Okay, so I'm going to take care of um, blemishes. I'm going to remove some of the little spots here and there, and then um, you know take it from there. So one of the tools I'm going to use is um, my spot healing brush. So I'm going to go to my you know patch tool i'm going to right click so when i right click i will see all of the tools um you know alongside with the patch tool the healing brush and, and all of that so i'm going to select the spot healing brush so i'll select spot healing brush and then i'm going to zoom in i'm going to press my control um, z to activate my zoom key so i'm going to zoom in to take out some of the visible um, br um, blemishes that we have some little pimples here and there Alright, so I'm going to press my J key to go back to my spot healing brush. I'm going to press my right bracket key to increase the size, the radius of my of my brush a bit. So I'm going to, you know, start clean cleaning. Make sure you um, take your time to remove all of the blemishes that are so visible to the face. Alright, so so visible to the eye all right so i'm going to remove this guy here i'm going to remove this guy here so i'm going to zoom zoom out i'm going to press ctrl i to see what i've done so far all right so i'm going to hit my j key again to you know um remove just a little bit Okay. All right. So I think I'm okay with the, you know. I think I'm okay with with it. So I'm going to hit my J key. This before, and this after. Before and after. Okay. I think we've done a pretty uh, a pretty amazing job with the blemish removal. So the next step right now is to, of course, run our frequency separation, and then um you know take it off from there so i'm going to duplicate this layer one more time i'm going to hit ctrl j to duplicate all right so i'm going to make this layer hide the visibility of the layer go down to the um background copy i'm going to double click on it to rename it so i'm going to name it color now i'm going to rename the background copy too to texture now the purpose of renaming is to give your um just some little bit of organiz organization so you know which is which right so if you can be able to um tell what layer is without without renaming it's fine all right so i'm going to select my color layer i'm going to go to image i'm going to go to sorry i'm going to go to filter not image i'm going to go to filter i'm going to go to blur gaussian blur now, if you've been watching my previous um, video, which I recommend you do, we've been using um, the median instead of the Gaussian blur. But for this case, I want to use the Gaussian blur. Um, it's just a matter of preference, all right? So you can try both and see which one works best for you. I, I, I like the outcome of both. So at times I just feel, okay, let me just do something different um, today. So um, I'm going to select Gaussian blur. I'm going to use a radius of three. I like using low radius because um, of how I want the skin to come out. So I'm going to make my texture layer visible. I'm going to go to image. I'm going to go to apply image. And then I'm going to select on under the layer. Um, I'm going to select a um, color. All right. Change my blend mode to subtract. There you go. And I have my scale to one to eight and offset to 128. And then we are good. Make sure you don't select your invert because if you select the invert, it's more like the opposite of you know what you're doing and I, we don't want that so i'm gonna uncheck the invert um 
section i'm going to click okay all right so i'm going to go to change my blending mode from normal i'm going to change it to linear light all right that's cool so i'm going to hold um shift key or control key and hold down hold down my control key then press color all right click on the color layer and it's going to have both the texture and the color layer selected so i'm going to hit ctrl j to group so i'm going to name this um fs all right so i'm going to click on the drop down um button right here all right so i'm going to duplicate my color layer this is how, how i love to work all right i love working like this i like like having you know I, I don't like working on the original layer i like having uh, more like a, a backup so if i don't like what i i see i can always make adjustment later on so i'm going to um right click um create clipping max all right now an alternative for this i'm going to press ctrl z to go back an alternative for this is hold down your alt key all right hover around you know the area between the color copy and the color um, layer and then you see that your icon have changed to this um arrow pointing down with a white box beside it so when you see that just click on it all right you've power clipped your color copy layer to your color layer all right so um right about now we're going to start mixing all right i have um, my mixer brush selected and i have a weight of 11 a load of 75 and a mix of 90 and a flow of 100. so i would like to take down my the size the radius of my mixer brush to about you know about this size and then make sure that your feather is um the hardness of your brush is um zero percent we don't want it hard at all all right so we can start um brushing right away so um remember the flow of things from brush around um the same skin tones don't move from highlights to shadows or the mid-tones um all right so i'm gonna start mixing with my mixer brush now as as you will notice i turned off my texture layer because um i want to really focus on the you know the color part of my image so i'm going to start mixing like like so yeah So what I'm going to do now is that I'm, I'm going to turn on the texture layer. Let's see if I like the outcome already. So just on the forehead, let's see what, what we've done. Okay. Um, I, th I think it's pretty okay. Yeah, it's nice. So let's, let's see the before. This is the before and then this is the after. All right. So I'm, I'm going to continue um, mixing. So... Sorry about that.
all right guys um welcome back so as you can see we've done a pretty good job on the face so i'm just trying to take care of um some of some slight um errors here, here and there all right so um i think we've done a pretty good job on the face in short in in in, in a short time um you see so um just make sure you take your time to get it perfectly so let's look at the before so this is the before and then this day after i think i like the result i'm getting i think i'm like the result now if you want to leave um a little bit of texture to your image you can reduce you know the part that you've cleaned all right so you can when you go way down all right you see that you have um your the way it was before all right so you can reduce it because um for a woman of this age you don't want it looking all smooth and all of that you still want to have those little wrinkles here and there on the faces so it can look um natural so i have um the color copy at 70 percent and i think i still like the results uh, i'm seeing here or i can take it down to 80 or leave it at 100 if you think you like the result so i think i'll leave it at 100 i love the result way smooth very beautiful and uh thank you so much guys for watching this video uh, if you have not subscribed please subscribe all right like this video um leave me a comment comment in this comment section and again hit the not notification bell so when i post a new video you get to know about it and all of that thank you so much guys for watching stay blessed bye bye